What's up you guys, it's Matt here. So in this video, I wanted to talk to you about why your career is going absolutely nowhere. Uh, before I start, make sure you hit the like button on this video. Also hit the subscribe button for more videos just like this one. And I do a giveaway every single week. So if you wanna learn about that giveaway, stick around until the end and you'll hear all about that giveaway. Now, I also have a podcast that's filmed right behind me. And if you wanna check out that podcast, make sure you look at the video that's in the cards. I'll also have it at the end of the video if you wanna wait till then. Um, and I have a clips channel. So if you want to check out that clips channel where all of the podcast clips are going to go, however many videos we do, they'll go on that channel. So check out that channel, subscribe to that channel. It helps me out a lot. Um, also, I feel like they're going to be a valuable topics and, you know, we'll grow and change things as we go. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into this video. So one reason why your career is going nowhere is that you're afraid of not having a job. There are a lot of people out there that are absolutely afraid of not having a job and not having a source of income, especially if they have a family, if they have you know, a house, if they have rent to pay, you, know, you have bills. You wanna make sure that you have a job, right? This is why their career is not going anywhere. They want to remain comfortable and wherever they can create consistent income. And that's just a mindset. And some people will say, oh no, you know what? I don't think that way. You may not feel like you think that way, but you absolutely do think that way. I thought that way for a while. I don't think that way now, and I never will think that way. So you need to change your mindset and don't be afraid of losing your job. Make sure you have the means to quit your job at any point because if someone says something that you don't like and you want to leave your job and pursue legal actions, it's going to take time for you to go through all of those steps and you're going to have to pay bills in the meantime. So if you don't have any type of money, then you're not going to be able to do it. So that's, this is what I'm saying. Um, don't be afraid. Just don't be afraid. Also, people are afraid of change. There's a lot of people out there that are afraid of change. And I know it um, from a personal standpoint. I, I'm always afraid of change. I grow to the people that I work with and the people that I present information to. And it's just so hard to present to a whole new group of people. Um, in my case. Um, but a lot of people don't like change. And if you don't like change, you're not going to make the change. So just throw that out, throw it out and just say, look, you know what? I need to be open to change. Um, and it's going to be tough. It's going to be a tough road because you're never going to be 100% open to change because you never know how things are going to go. You're always second guessing it saying, am I making the right decision? Another reason is you get stuck in a pattern. You get too comfortable. So you're sitting at your desk, you're doing the same thing over and over again. You know, I think of that SpongeBob episode where there's, um, there's a guy that's doing the exact same thing and he's standing in the same spot and all they do is change the scenery and he has the same face and it just does the same thing over and over again every single day. And that is just insane to me. To think about people that love to be in a routine. I hate being in a routine. I complained about it um, a week ago where I was like, Oh, you know what? I feel like I'm doing the exact same thing. I'm waking up, you know, going to work, coming back home, you know, playing with Harper, putting her to sleep, then, you know, um, typing up an essay or something like that. And then, you know, going to sleep, waking up, doing it over again. So if you get stuck in a pattern, change something, anything, it doesn't matter what it is, change something. But that's why people feel like they're going nowhere. And you're absolutely, you absolutely are going nowhere because you're doing the same thing at work, at home you know, everywhere, you're just doing the same thing. And don't get comfortable. Um, try and change some things. Another thing that I'm um, too familiar with is they give excuses saying that, you know, an example would be that, oh, I don't want to grow. Um, I like where I am. And I want to stay in this position. I want to stay um, doing what I'm doing. Do you really though? Um, do you really like being as comfortable as you are um, in that position? Um, I, I feel like that people don't want to stay doing what they're doing or they want to um, keep doing what they're doing in some form. But when you grow, like say um, I'm growing in the accounting department and I'm a manager of um, accounts payable or something, or I'm a manager of, uh, let's just say I'm a senior accountant. If I grow to be, um, I don't know, a VP of finance, I'm still going to be overlooking that area. So technically I'm still doing that. And a lot of times your duties go with you so that there is no like just complete change of your duties. 
There's always something that you're trying to teach someone how to do this position so that you can learn how to do this position more. So I don't think that's a way that you should be looking at it where you should be making excuses saying, hey, you know, I like what I'm doing and I don't want to change it. Because then that goes back to the fact that you're still afraid of change. Another way that people go nowhere is that they don't speak up. You know, there's tons of opportunity for you to speak up to your manager and say, hey, I want more opportunity. I want to do more. And if you do that, they're going to look at you differently. Seriously, they will. And you only have to wait you know, maybe a couple of months by doing that extra work and um, having that change. And they're going to say, you know what, this person needs to be management. This person needs to grow. This person needs to um, succeed. He's going to be great for this company. He or she is going to be great for this company. And if you speak up and take more responsibility, I guarantee you that they will want to promote you eventually. And um, you don't really have to go out of your way to explore other opportunities because you can speak up and say, hey, What's the growth of this uh, position? And I do it all the time. I go into my one-on-one -on -one meetings. I go into you know my group meetings and I say, hey, what's the growth for this department? What's going to be the future for this department? Am I going to see any type of growth into a management position? Am I going to see any type of growth into a VP or executive position? Whatever. I want to see that growth, that growth chart. So speak up. So I kind of talked on the points. Um, let's just go through um, the different points and basically say, how can we change um, the fact that we're going nowhere? How can we actually make that change today? Because you want to implement any type of change today so that you don't wait on it and forget about it. So the first thing that I would say is that you go on two to three interviews per month. And I've said this plenty of times. Two to three interviews per month, even if you're not looking for a job, even if you just want to stay there but you want to um, move up in the rankings, look for another job because one, it's going to help them understand what your value is because they're going to look at you differently saying, hey, this person wants to grow. They want to do more and you need to be able to show that value. And two, it's going to help you understand your own value because a lot of people get stuck in a pattern because they think they don't have value, they don't have anything more than what they're doing, their daily tasks. But everybody has more value than you think you have. So if you go on three interviews per month, you're gonna find that jobs want you, um, people want to hire you for more money, you're gonna find a bunch of things that can sway you in a different direction so that you can eventually make change. And I kind of spoke on this, but speak up to your manager. Go right to your manager and say, hey, you know, what is the growth opportunity for this position, this department? How can I grow? How can I be better? And um, also, how can I take on more responsibility now? And if you do that, I guarantee that, you know, he or she is going to look at you and say, you know, that person wants to grow with the company and I need to give them more opportunity to grow with the company. And the last thing I wanted to say is that confidence goes a long way. So if you look at yourself and you are confident that you are valuable, that you are the best employee that you can be, and that you want to take on more responsibility, but they're not giving it to you, confidence goes a long way. Be confident in every situation, no matter who you're talking to. No one is above you, to tell you the truth. Yes, they're above you in, in position, but does that mean you need to be afraid to talk to them? No. Talk to them like a normal person and say, hey, I want more responsibility. I want to be able to um, grow in my position. It doesn't look like I can grow in this position. Do you feel like this position or this department is going to have the growth that, that, it, that I want, really? So you know, just speak up to your manager. Um, don't be rude in any way. I'm not saying that you need to be rude. I'm saying go to your manager and, and respectfully say, hey, you know, I, I feel like there should be growth in this position. Um, I don't see any openings that are happening. Do you feel like there will be growth in the future? Um, because I want to, you know, give value in some form or fashion. So, you know, that's the way you need to look at it. Be confident. Do everything with 100% confidence. But um, that's my list, guys. Um, hopefully your career doesn't continue to go nowhere. I hope that it is um, at a better place, not only a year from now, but a month from now. Um, I, I would like it to be in a better place long term um, and in the short term. Um, but that's my video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button for more videos just like this one. And I do a giveaway every single week. I give away two Amazon gift cards at the end of the week. 
And all you have to do in order to enter that giveaway is just comment on at least one video for the week, like at least one video for the week, and also be subscribed to my YouTube channel. If you do all those things and you get one ticket in the hat, but if you want multiple tickets, then just comment on multiple videos. Um, and I have a podcast behind me. Make sure you check that podcast out because I feel like it's going to be a hit. Uh, my wife and I just sit down and talk about different things, different things that are in the news. And, you know, we're kind of a week behind because we record it and then we go through the whole week and um, post it on Sunday. So make sure that you check that podcast out. Um, and if you don't want to check out the full podcast, check out some clips. Go down um, in the description below. The clips will be down there. And, um, yeah, but I'm going to have to get out of here. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.